in your Capitol watch. For its part, the U.S. House today overwhelmingly passed sweeping legislation to fund more security at schools. One of the elements of the bill is a national version of a program already in place here in Colorado. News 5, Zach Thaxton here in studio to explain. Zach. The Stop School Violence Act of 2018 gives the go-ahead for $50 million in federal grants every year for the next 10 years to bolster school safety and add things like metal detectors and stronger door locks. It also funds development of anonymous reporting systems like Colorado's Safe to Tell. Congress on Wednesday giving the go-ahead for tens of millions of dollars in federal grants to enhance school safety nationwide. More tools to actively identify a potential shooter before a tragedy happens. Among those tools, anonymous reporting systems to allow students or adults to report potential threats before they can be carried out. Colorado has had such a system in place for nearly 15 years now. We really wanted a more robust solution in Colorado and there was the political will to make that happen. So in 2004, we launched what is now Safe to Tell statewide and through all Colorado schools. People can report anonymously by phone, online, or ever increasingly through a smartphone app. It does prove the point that there are no jurisdictional boundaries for our young people today because so much comes through social media. As lawmakers and law enforcement agencies consider their options for developing anonymous reporting systems under the Stop School Violence Act, founder Susan Payne says Colorado's safe to tell should serve as an example for the rest of the nation. We've known for a long time that this shouldn't just be something we do in Colorado, mm -hmm. that we want to share it. We want this to be an infrastructure throughout this nation and this country to make sure that all young people have a voice and that they can speak up. The Stop School Violence Act also provides funding for training for students, teachers, administrators, and local law enforcement, as well as increased security through things like surveillance cameras and alarm systems. The bill passed the House by a vote of 407 to 10. It now heads to the Senate. President Trump has already said he will sign it. Always watching out for you. Zach Thaxton, News 5.